Khahirli, a val Gafarlamati Europe, a Horlori Kunde, Agus Aval Gunaregun, a Tabainsakle Ernak was Rinoishle, while a Merdusarag will make fear we have such Queen Hura all of Edgeatronuna, a Okad's fear how of the Rien Okacha is Okad's Lodrehe, Horide, Blenagus Fich, a Tava Hellora, a Okad special day of Hadagus and Wanachella, Koi Brew. Uh, either in the region or uh, in Europe. Um, first of all, um, I'd like to thank um, uh, Pat the Cope uh, for um, using all of his wily tricks to get me here this evening. <laughs> uh, I told him already that I spent the day at the uh, EU uh, South Africa summit, and so we had a very busy, very um, heavy day <clears throat> discussing cooperation with them. So it's very nice to have an opportunity. Uh, to be here to celebrate with Councillor Irina Donaghy, the chairperson, with Colin McCulligan, the general manager, and with all the representatives of all the regions who are here um, uh, to ask me to participate in the first 21 year celebration of Earn Act is a, is a real privilege. Um, of course, as we know, it was jointly founded in 1991 by Donegal County Council and Derry City Council, but it has its origins in an EU funded uh, interregional um, innovation action. And I'm very pleased, as Pat mentioned, that my own county, County Galway, was a founding member through the participation of Galway County Council. The Earn Act network is very impressive because it has extended to cities and regions in Spain, in Sweden, in the Czech Republic, uh, and in Romania. So the north, south, east, and west, as it were, uh, of the EU. And I think it demonstrates the capacity of local and uh, regional and indeed city authorities to establish and to manage complex innovation networks uh, that span the EU. Earn Act, of course, is also an excellent example of how the European Commission can support these authorities uh, to be a catalyst for innovation uh, within their regions and indeed to network with their peers across Europe. And of course, I worked very closely with Mihal Krohor and his team uh, in the um, uh, Committee of the Regions. And they also have managed to be able to link in and work with us uh, to encourage uh, the de further development of regional cooperation, which I feel is so important. Earn Act has focused on developing and transferring information technology for people uh, and for businesses and approaches to broadband uh, deployment that reach right across the borders and between regions. And these solutions have been applied in areas such as the public services, in tourism, in energy efficiency, in environment, and in business services. You celebrate your birthday at a time of economic crisis and great challenges for all of Europe. But you are part of the solution. Research, innovation, and technologies like ICT are essential, I believe, to getting our economy back on track. And both the public and private sectors have realized as much. The EU member states that are investing more in research and innovation are helping to reduce the adverse impacts uh, of the crisis. And despite current pressures on all of the public purses, 12 member states have increased their public R&D investment and spending since 2010. 13 member states have introduced tax incentives to stimulate private investment in R&D and no fewer than 16 member states have launched public-private partnership programs. As for the private sector, the top EU businesses expect their investments in research and development to grow by an average of 4% per year between now and 2014. Now that shows, I believe, the importance that these companies quite correctly are giving to R&D as a way of securing their future growth. The ICT obviously is showing the way, and R&D investment in this sector is expected to grow by 11% per year on average. ICT is the main driver in making the European economy a knowledge-based economy and a smarter economy, and will be fully supported by our new research and innovation program, Horizon 2020. Under that program, we're proposing 13.7 billion euro in targeted support for the key enabling and industrial technologies that underpin innova innovation across different industries and different sectors. And that includes ICT, as well as nanotechnologies and advanced materials, 
biotechnology, advanced manufacturing processes, and space. The successful mastering and deployment of enabling technologies like ICT is crucial for Europe's productivity and innovation capacity and to address, of course, the societal challenges that we face. So Europe has to remain at the forefront of innovation in ICT and we need local and regional authorities to contribute actively and effectively to this objective. And one very practical way they can do this, for instance, is by using the public procurement of IT services to support innovation. There is much untapped potential here, and there is scope to deliver better public services at a better price through innovation. Public-private partnerships, or PPPs as we know them now, can also help to make public uh, services and private businesses smarter, that is to say, more intelligent, more efficient, and more sustainable. The Future Internet Public-Private Partnership, which was launched in May, is a good example of a technology platform operating at a European level that is aimed at securing our competitiveness in future internet technologies and at supporting the emergence of future internet-enhanced applications with benefits, of course, for the wider society. Achieving the objectives of the digital agenda for Europe is a prerequisite to achieving both an online digital single market and more broadly an inclusive knowledge society in Europe. Other smart initiatives, of course, are also up and running. In July this year, the Commission launched the Smart Cities and Communities uh, European Innovation Partnership, whose aim is to pool resources of many different types of actors to support the demonstration of new ideas in energy, in transport and in ICT in urban areas. Relevant industries, notably the ICT sector, are working together with cities to combine their technologies to address the needs of cities. And this will enable innovative, integrated and efficient technologies to roll out and indeed to enter the market more easily. Research infrastructures, the facilities, the resources, the organizational systems and services that are used by scientists and engineers are another key element uh, for, of support for ICT already under the present framework program, the seventh framework program, FP7, and of course also in the future under Horizon 2020. ICT-based infrastructures underpin all kinds of collaborative research work. For example, HEANET in Ireland has been one of the pioneers in Europe in developing cross-border fiber optic connections for research and education. Up to the minute communication technologies and services help us to ensure that our researchers and our engineers have access to the resources that they need for their own work, but also for collaboration with their peers. So we've made sure that Horizon 2020 will help and support the linking of research infrastructures on the ESFRI list with their regional partner facilities. We're very keen in the Commission to ensure open access to research infrastructures at both a national and a regional level. And ICT has a key role, obviously, to play here. EARN Act has its roots in an inter-regional innovative action supported by the European Regional Development Fund. And you are proof, indeed, of the benefits to be gained from ensuring a good match and real synergies between cohesion policy and EU-level support for research and innovation through the Digital Agenda and Horizon 2020. We place great importance in the Commission on this link and we will do all that we can to ensure even better synergies between these policies uh, in the future. Today we're celebrating a 21st birthday, but EARN Act came of age a long time ago, and I've no doubt that you'll have a very long and active future. I think that you're very well placed to take advantage of the new opportunities that are available under Horizon 2020, the digital agenda and cohesion policy, to carry on, first of all, but to expand the valuable work that you do in promoting and deploying ICT in our regions. Over the last 21 years, you've helped to connect cities and regions in the four corners of Europe. And I obviously wish congratulate you on all that you've done and wish you continued uh, success into the future. <laughs>